This is a special presentation of Ag Day Television. The Farm Journal Legacy Project presents Leave a Legacy. And now, your host, Kevin Spafford. Hello, and welcome to Leave a Legacy. For each episode of this program, I learn from leaders in the industry, families focused on transition planning, and operations built for growth. Recently, I met with the families behind Lundberg Family Farms in Richvale, California. We'll visit again with Angie May of Minnick May Family Farms, and you'll hear from Kimberly Klaus of Klaus Dairy Farms. Take note, all of my guests today are women, women who are making a difference and taking the reins in a male-dominated industry. Success is not gender-based. Farming is a profession founded in good decision-making, sound financial management, and good team building. Now Wes Mills takes us to Lumberg Family Farms, a vertically integrated rice grower, food processor, and stalwart for sustainability. As the Dust Bowl raged for nearly a decade in the Great Plains, Albert and Francis Lundberg saw how the relentless drought and poor agricultural practices took a toll on farmers and their land. The family packed up their Nebraska home in 1937 and headed west. Homer Lundberg was just two years old. He had four young boys from two to nine, and he was starting over again with uh, almost nothing. It wasn't exactly the grapes of wrath story as told by John Steinbeck, but their dad did see the farming potential as they settled in the Sacramento Valley, bringing with them respect for the land. That lesson was passed on to his four sons, Eldon, Wendell, Harlan, and Homer. Their dad also started to gift his farmland to the boys while Homer was still in high school. He started gifting uh, the property over, and by the time I was in college, um, each one of us boys had about the same amount of land as my dad did. In the 1960s, the brothers saw they could do better together as a farming operation. They also saw a market niche to grow organic rice. Now, six decades later, the Lundberg family farms has grown into the nation's leading producer of organic brown rice and rice products. The Lundberg operation consists of 17,000 acres, 5,000 owned. They contract the balance with 44 growers. But at the heart of the farming operation is the family desire to keep their farming techniques sustainable. Bryce Lundberg is third generation and vice president of agriculture for the company. I think it involved integrity. Integrity in that they, uh, they said what they did and, and they did what they said. I think a respect, a respect for the, uh, the soil, respect for the environment, respect for the people they work with and respect for the consumer buying the, uh, the product. The company is vertically integrated. They grow, mill, process, and pack their own rice and rice products. They wanted to take a product that they were growing and have people be able to understand this is unique. Jessica Lundberg is chairman of the board of directors, which is comprised entirely of third generation family members. I like to be able to talk to people and, and encourage them to talk about their ideas and, and there's no reason why if people have uh, concerns or if people have ideas that we can't share them with each other and try and build trust across different groups. Though she holds the title of board chair, Jessica manages Lundberg Farms as a true family business, collaborating with her father, uncles, cousins and siblings to reach consensus on key business decisions. We voice our opinion, we can agree to disagree and then we bring it to the full group. We bring it to the board of directors, and we use we use the guidelines that we have for corporate governance to help us get through those. So we have to have the respect and the open communication. The third generation of Lundbergs is now operating the company. The fourth is in training. The family wants to bring in any family members who are interested in working the farm. Teenagers are encouraged to participate in company-run internship programs. From uh, Packaging rice cakes, quality control, sales team. Um, I've done work in the nursery, a lot of work on the farm with my dad. But really they've given me an opportunity to go wherever I'd like to go and try it out. The brothers are transitioning out, but not before leaving their legacy. I, I think about all we have done, the four brothers have set 
the right direction, and then we've let them, uh, those people run with it. The family, as the board of directors, intends to continue to grow the operation steadily, but not moving too quickly so they can monitor market trends and conditions. Even just the changes that are happening with the family and with the board and with the company structure, as they're marrying up with changes in our market and physical changes here on the site, we have so many things happening that are just getting ready to line up, and it's going to be really exciting to see. As a third-generation farmer and chairman of the board, Jessica is a strong advocate for progress. When Leave a Legacy returns, Dr. Jennifer Ryder Fox of California State University, Chico, will share her recommendations for preparing the next generation to lead. Pioneer Hybrid proudly continues its legacy of supporting America's farm families by sponsoring the Farm Journal Legacy Project. Every season begins with a strategy. Put the right product on the right acre. So Pioneer brings more potential to the table for more performance in the field. Every bag of Pioneer brand seed contains only diverse Pioneer genetics, most combined with advanced protection traits. All are rigorously tested to make a difference field by field. Better choices lead to better yields. And better choices start with Pioneer Hybrids. Match the right product to the right acre and you'll see results. Why series soybeans from Pioneer, for example? They're redefining yield potential field by field. Powered by our exclusive accelerated yield technology system, they're the next generation of high-performing Pioneer varieties with bred-in pest resistance traits. It's easy to see why growers plant Pioneer brand soybean varieties on more acres than any other brand. Today's squeeze between feed costs and milk prices creates a critical relationship between forages and profitability. High-producing dairy herds rely on high-quality silage, so many successful dairy operators trust Pioneer brand silage hybrids. Experienced Pioneer sales professionals can help match the right corn silage hybrids to all phases of your operation for high tonnage, high energy, and high digestibility. Pioneer representatives are backed by extensive research and dairy nutritionists, offering silage harvest and bunker management tips and practical solutions for improved production, all to help you squeeze more milk out of every acre. Pioneer also offers breakthrough corn fiber technology with Pioneer brand 11 CFT inoculant. It improves the fiber digestibility and nutrient value of your corn silage and extends bunk life. From planning through feed out, rely on your Pioneer sales professional to help you improve your silage and give your cow something better to eat. Pioneer, science with service, delivering success.